Hi everyone, I'm Anna Curzon, Chief Product Officer here at Xero. And one of the things I really love about Xero is the way that product design and engineering all come together really beautifully to solve our customer problems. And just like product and design, engineering makes this superior, massive contribution all the way through the product life cycle, starting from discovery through to delivery and beyond. But we don't always get to talk about the kind of projects underway from an engineer's perspective um, and all the exciting opportunities for engineers who are looking to join Zero and take that next step in their career. So today, it is my great pleasure to have the opportunity to just have a chat and a bit of a riff with our Executive General Manager of Engineering, Paul Merrick, just to share a little bit about what the team's up to. So, hey, Paul, good to see you. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, maybe, and your role at Zero? Yeah, hi, Anna. <clears throat> great to see you. As you say, I'm the EGM of Engineering here at Zero. I'm responsible for supporting both the engineering leaders and the engineering teams at Zero. A large part of my role here is to advocate for investment and improvement in the engineering space, not just from a systems and processes point of view, but also improving our culture and the way we collaborate with product and design. I'm now in my fifth year here at Zero, and it's been great to be a part of our journey. I feel very privileged to lead and attract highly skilled engineers to Zero. So as a leader, I try to make it about laying out the roadmap, defining constraints, setting priorities, and then sitting back and letting engineers solve the problems for themselves. Outside of work, I have two children. So managing work and family takes up most of my life. But when I'm not doing that, I spend a lot of time trawling the web for engineering conference talks, reading engineering and leadership books all the time. I really love what I do. And I do have a healthy amount of imposter syndrome. So that drives me to always improve my understanding. I think we all share a little bit of that, don't we, don't we Paul? And um, again, what I love about uh, what you just said around continuous improvement and, you know, what we can continuously um, learn from ourselves here at Zero, but, but also around the world. And uh, really important that we stay connected to that thinking uh, to make sure that we are at the vanguard. Um, and in fact, you know, we hear that a lot from our CTO, Mark Rees, your boss, about how our vision is to be sustainably excellent when it comes to engineering. And that's no mean feat. <laughs> so can you talk to us a little bit about what that actually means and how we're doing that here at Zero? Yeah, sure. For us, sustainably excellent engineering is about ensuring our technology and product concerns are balanced to ensure the long-term viability of the technology and the success of our products. The vision to be sustainably excellent is a journey. It's about continuously improving our engineering and delivery system by focusing on great practices like design thinking, hypothesis-driven development, continuous delivery, the DevOps philosophy, and lean management. Realizing our vision of becoming sustainably excellent is not just focused on our practices. We are thinking all the time about how we help our engineers grow their careers, how we best structure our teams to optimize for quality and throughput, as well as investing in great engineering leadership. We are really lucky, very lucky here to attract such strong talent across the board. And, you know, over the past two years, we have been developing our engineering standards, and they really underpin every aspect of what we do. And these will help at zero edge towards elite software delivery performance. So true, and I know right across the board, across uh, engineering as well as product and design, there's really deep knowledge of those engineering standards because we understand that you know product is a team sport and, and just how important it is that um, we have an understanding, some deeper than others, obviously, if you're engineering, um, to, to help make the boat go faster and help us with that sustainably excellent uh, vision uh, of, of yours and, and Mark's. So I guess... Um, uh, all that being said, what are we doing here at Zero to help engineers get the skills and knowledge they need to move towards that vision? Because we're really scaling the team now at a blistering pace. And so we know that professional growth is a, is a big part of that, right? Yeah, great question. In the past year, we've done a, real, a lot of work around aligning our engineering roles and creating a really clear pathway for success. Our engineers now know what's expected at each level and get them to get the most out of their career here at Zero. Um, it's in our interest to take care of our engineers' growth, not just the technical aspects of engineering, but the non-technical aspects too. There's a real culture of continuous learning at Zero, which I really love. There's a hunger to always do better and learn more and experiment as well. 
So we spend a lot of time thinking about how we can help engineers achieve their career goals, whether they're a grad or a principal engineer. And lastly, we're a global team. So having a strong engineering community is really important to us. We are focused on helping build strong communities of practice across zero. We stay really connected and try to learn from each other as much as possible. I know I'm always learning from the team and always amazed at how supportive everyone is to each other. Nobody's perfect. And so a failure is bound to happen, but it's great in seeing how our engineers really get behind each other. I uh, I really love that too. And, and I'd absolutely agree that, you know, when you're moving as fast as we are and you've got this continuous improvement approach, sometimes stuff happens. But I love our culture of our retros and, you know, that no blame. Let's really figure out, you know, how we can support each other and the business to go forward. Um, and I think that makes part of our culture just so special. Um, and that's, I guess, one question I've got for you. How do you maintain that within engineering? What is it about our culture? We've talked a little bit about, you know, um, that uh, experimentation, the continuous learning, um, and the support of our people in terms of, you know, knowledge and professional development. But what is it, do you think, that attracts all these really incredibly talented people like yourself around the world to zero? Well, there's a strong culture of autonomy and ownership to solve problems for our customers, giving teams ownership of a solution. So taking a you build it, you own it approach, it means engineers can experiment and not be too constrained by that sense of, well, it's always been done this way. The sustainably excellent vision is aspirational, but everyone works really hard to bring it to life. One of our principles is that quality is the responsibility of all engineers, and the team really leans into that. Most people are here for the benefit of the company. We all believe that we're here to make life better for our customers, and that drives the way we work and the sense of responsibility we take in every project. What attracts a lot of engineers to zero is the fact that you can be a coach. You can have a real impact on driving improvements and support people as they grow in their career. At zero, it's, it's more of a learning culture. It's mm. about the whole person rather than the output. So true, because we know when people are in that state of learning uh, and it's a safe environment, we know that that opens them up to be more innovative uh, and to experiment more, maybe take a few more risks, which is great, which is what we need for our customers and our people right now. So I, I love that response. Thank you, uh, Paul. And I remember uh, the first um, sort of few months when I started at Zero, I used to hear Rod Drury, who was our founder and um, is our founder, uh, was our previous C CEO. And he used to say many things, but one of the things that really stuck with me was there are no grown up here at zero it's ours <laughs> this is our company and that really instilled such a strong sense of ownership in everyone you know this culture of meritocracy where even the newest person or the younger zero in the company could raise an idea with the ceo and really push that forward um, and that's part of our values of hashtag ownership it's something that i think is still true at zero all these years later so beyond the culture what else makes Zero such an exciting place for engineers to work? And why do you love it? You know, I've been an engineer for 20 years and I'm lucky enough to get up in the morning and do what I love for a career. Zero has really given me a platform to help other people to get the most out of their careers. And even though we just turned 15, we're really only at the start of that journey. I think what excites engineers most is being able to solve compelling problems with a compelling technology. And we really have that at Zero. You know, the customer problems we're solving here are really important. Things like helping our customers' staff get paid on time. So it's really exciting time to be an engineer at Zero. Wow, it certainly is. And when we think about uh, our purpose here, which is to make the lives of small businesses better, small business owners and everyone that supports them better, it's a pretty audacious purpose, but one that uh, I know gets me up in the morning, and I'm sure it does for you as well, Paul. So thank you so much for your time. We're super lucky to have you here at Zero, and it sounds like it's a super exciting time to join the team because um, we are hiring at the moment, aren't we? <laughs> yes, that's right. We're hiring across Australia, New Zealand, US and Canada, everywhere. Uh, you can head to the jobs page on Zero's LinkedIn or our careers site for the details. Oh, that's excellent. Well, I can't wait to welcome all the new Zeros on board, all the new engineers that I'm sure will be uh, looking up Zero and wanting to understand a little bit more about us 
uh, right around the world to join us on this beautiful journey to make the lives of small business owners and those that support them better. What an audacious uh, thing, what a wonderful thing to give to the world. So thank you so much for joining me today, uh, Paul, and have an awesome rest of your week. Thanks, Anna. You too. Great to chat.